What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about how often content will be coming to Gotham Knights after the game's release. Now, if you guys missed out on the video I did uh, about a week or so ago, we talked about a, a big Warner Bros. leak. And I don't necessarily believe it, but one of the more interesting things that I saw, especially regarding Gotham Knights, and was like, oh, this could make a, a pretty solid video and discussion, because I didn't talk about it all that much, or at all, actually, in that video, was the first part of the Gotham Knights portion of that leak. Now, again, I'm not going based off the leak. We'll read it, and again, that'll kind of give us context, but I want to talk about it kind of on my own. Now, before I get to that part, though, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit the bell icon. We're chasing 50,000 subscribers. We can get there. We just need... Uh, many people that watch my content aren't actually subscribed, around 85%, believe it or not. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And while you're at it, if you guys want to check out my second channel, I do a daily video over there as well. It's called Podcast Now Plus. Link for it is in the description below. So let's read this out again. It says, features the most villains of any Batman game to date. Now that could be a, a video on its own. That's a pretty big thing. And we'll, this is the biggest part. And we'll continuously provide content every month for at least a year after release varying from new cosmetics which he spells complete, I mean the, it's the worst spelling I've ever seen in my life to new mission arcs featuring brand new villains. Now, let me flat out honest with you. I'm pretty darn solid. I read that in the, the leaked video. I did not see co Cosmetalius is, was how he said uh, cosmetics. So I don't know if this person just had like their brain exploded when they were typing that. Again, that kind of just goes further to the idea that it's just all fake. Um, and I don't remember it saying, at least I don't remember reading it out, for at least a year. So this person claims, and again, we'll talk about it kind of on our own in a second, but this person claims that every single month for a year, so 12 months, 12 times I should say, uh, they will be releasing either new cosmetics or new mission arcs featuring brand new villains. Now, I like that second part. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with cosmetics. I think you can do a lot with cosmetics to make a game last longer. Uh, there's good ways and bad ways, like... Uh, this is going to maybe make people upset, but like Marvel's Avengers, I could care less anytime they add new suits, new skins, new whatever. Now, I've said it before, I'm not a suits, skins, you know, that kind of stuff guy. Spider-Man is really the only game, and then I guess Miles Morales, those are the only games that have actually made me care about switching, you know, uh, costumes, basically. Um, In fact, I didn't even do it with Arkham Knight, which that game, I guess, would probably come next. It was like the closest game after that the, to get me near it, but I actually never did. I had like the base, whatever the game gave you at any given time for Batman suit was the suit that I had. Um, for Gotham Knights, I'm hoping, I'm hoping future games learn from Spider Man and say, you know what? Suits can actually be more than just looks, even though looks is probably enough for, for some people, actually probably for most people. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just I'm not that kind of guy. So, okay, cosmetics, to me, that means nothing. I mean, I really could care less about that. But if we're talking outside the leaks, yeah, I think that makes sense. I do think the game... Look, we're in 2021. The game comes out in 2022. We're in an era where you don't just release a game day one and you leave it, and that's the game. Um, I am okay with games that do that. I have nothing against them. In fact, I actually uh, probably like them more, right, because they're more of just, okay, the game's done, the game's ready, you play it, that's it. That's the product you get, and I respect that. And obviously, it used to be more of that than what it is now. But, okay, a game like Gotham Knights is obviously going to have some content after launch. Cosmetics, how you know characters look. Look, that'll absolutely be part of it. So I don't think this person knows that. I think they're just, you know, guessing. I think they guessed right, but that will definitely be a thing. And then in terms of villains, uh, we've actually, now I don't think this person has watched my past videos, but we've actually talked about that before. When I've pitched DLC or end game content to the game, I did, remember, I've said multiple, you could do it multiple ways. You could have villains, this could be bold, you could have villains that don't even unlock until the game is over. You could have villains that you add through DLC that you do, uh, you know, arcs with. You could have villains that you already beat in the game and add more to them in DLC. So we have talked about that before. Uh, again, I don't think the person watched our videos to know that, but uh, I think that's a good idea. Honestly, I think that's a very solid idea that if you're really looking for, and I mean, it's not, it's not unheard of. Like, if you do... DLC packs, if you do like a story pack, 
you're probably going to have a villain in there somewhere. Otherwise, like, what are you exactly doing, right? Maybe, like, a challenges mode or challenge. Or you could add modes. You could add, uh, like, you know, the, the kind of things that they've done in the Arkham games, right, where they actually have, like, packs where they add. Uh, so I guess they don't have to have a villain. But, you know, if we're doing, like, a story thing, like a long, like, say one month you get, like, a two, three-hour thing and you get Scarecrow. Okay, that's, like, a Scarecrow pack. Yeah, you get, like, two, three hours and it's Scarecrow's the villain and that's it. And I think that's actually a really really cool thing now the how often is obviously the the main thing i want to talk about here uh, I, I i don't know about how often again i think once a month for 12 months is very uh, like they're they're hoping for a lot remember back with avengers now they never said what they were going to do with avengers but because of the data mining and all that stuff uh even like myself I think people got into their heads that, like, it was possible to get a hero or, like, a new character every month or two, okay? It's not even remotely come close to that, okay? We're getting, like, three characters a year on average, let's just say. Um, the game will probably stop before we get even half the characters that we, we saw that they could have done in that data mine. So, like... You know, saying out loud, yeah, they'll, they'll update it every single month, and they'll give us, you know, one month they'll give us new skins, and the next month they'll give us a Joker pack, and then they'll do this and that. That all sounds fantastic, but in reality, you gotta remember it's game development, and there's delays, there's things that uh, you can plan for that never end up happening. I always go back to, like, Battlefront, Battlefront 2, right, where... They had a lot of heroes and villains that they absolutely loved. I think a lot of them were re really, really good, even like like the add-on ones, right? And then even with them, they had lines in case they ever added uh, Ahsoka or Padme, stuff like that, which those would have been very cool. And I, I mean, sign me up for Ahsoka day one, but they never ended up doing it, right? So that was like an option to them, and even they couldn't pull it off. So like that happened. So how often, I mean, a game like Gotham Knights, considering it's co-op, or like you can play it co-op, I guess, I do think it's a game that they probably have plans to support for about a year. That's that, that's around average. I mean, there's some games that have been supported for three years, four years, five years that are still going on. I think a game like Gotham Knights, you support for a year. So I, I think that part's right. I don't know if you get monthly stuff. Maybe you would get like... I, like, I'm not opposed to a season pass. If, if the season pass is done right, I have nothing against it. So if you did a season pass and you said, okay, during this season pass, you're going to get these skins, these cosmetics, all this stuff, but you're also going to get three-story add-ons or two, you know, however. And, you know, it obviously it depends on the price. But I could see spacing it out over a year. Now, I don't think we're going to get, like, we uh, monthly villain packs, okay? I would imagine, like, two to four max. So... Uh, and again, that could maybe even be, I think they'd be new villains, to be quite honest with you. I don't think they would do villains that were already in the game, although they could, and it's, it's not like it's unheard of to do that. So I would say game comes out, they support it probably a year, okay, through, and maybe they do it monthly, maybe they do it every other month. Uh, but I think somewhere in there, you probably get two to four villain packs, okay, where you have like a story thing with the villain. I think that makes so much sense. I think I've pitched that idea before in past videos. I'm sticking with I'm sticking with it until it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? So I think that could happen. And then cosmetics. I mean, that's a much easier one. That's something that they they, they did um, pretty heavily, I would say, with Arkham Knight. I think it worked pretty pretty okay. And again, like Spider Man, Arkham Knight, the, these things should teach developer stuff where it's like. You give people some pretty cool stuff, even if it's just visual stuff, and they will eat it up. You know what I mean? They'll down even like Arkham Knight, right? Down or like then they do the skin. Like a, uh, I don't remember. I don't even remember how long it was ago, but it was years and years and years after the game came out. They did a skin, and people re-downloaded the game to play Batman with just the skin, just the skin. So you're gonna have people that would be very excited about that. So that's what I would think. But at the end of the day. It's not a game I think that can support. It's not a game made to support players playing it for like two, three, four years. You know what I mean? So they're not. And I would imagine they want to get the team on the next game after it too. So I don't think you're going to get stuff in this game more than six to twelve months after the game comes out. Maybe cosmetics after that, uh, like here and there. But I don't think yeah, maybe like a if Batman's in it, maybe they do something with the Batman, the movie, right? But I don't think uh, I honestly don't think it goes any further than uh, than like a year after. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? What do you DLC or add-ons or expansion packs. What do you think we get after the game comes out? How long do you think they support it after the game comes out? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on to help us reach that 50k mark.
Mark. While you're at it, make sure you guys are subscribed to my second channel. Again, link for that is in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Still do Gotham Knight stuff. I, 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 I'm trying to do about a video a week. I think that's probably good enough considering there's nothing, literally nothing new about this game. Um, we will talk about this game as we get closer to E3 though, okay? But I, I want to try and stick to once a week until we get more stuff and then I'll pick it up again. We'll do every like four or five days again, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.